Hi guys, this is Norm with a small product uh, overview. Uh, I'm not going to convince a whole lot of people about these, but I want to share them with you because I thought they were pretty cool. It's a product from Alder's Nest. Uh, I think it's a Japanese company. Well, from all the Japanese marking on them. I got that from uh, eBay and also Hobby Link Japan. They are super detailed um, VHF antenna mounting unit or matching unit and also the VHF whip, okay, the two meter one. So I'm going to take them out of the bag and be able to show you the, um, the packaging, okay, the back shows you high detailed pictures of what this is all about and uh, we'll try to do some zoom of the product themselves okay let me reset and uh, unpackage this and then we'll be able to share with you better okay you take care okay let's start with the uh, VHF whip it's a very basically a standard whip for all modern vehicles uh, I would say from maybe the mid 60s all the way to uh, today uh, especially for Canada we still have this Although, of course, um, there have been some improvement and such. The look of the 2 meter antenna VHF uh, is basically the same. So, what I really appreciate of uh, Adler's Nest doing is this. They actually took the time to mold the, uh, or uh, shape the, the base of the antenna whip, do a tapered uh, first section which is the ground element and then uh, although they haven't done the the, the treads which marries the two units together this is the upper whip the upper element they just show uh, how they connect and then you have the basically the eyeball or the injury uh, ball at the end it's just a screw thing that we put on so if the whip comes back it doesn't going gun to scar your face or take out your eye okay it's specially designed for that so in the little bag of course is this little bead it's perfectly shaped like the real thing it's kind of, kind of hard to uh, show here I'll try to but it's a tiny 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 uh, teardrop uh, ball okay exactly the same shape as this and there's a hole in it so you can imagine how fine this is this is really really tiny stuff and then we have the whip so let me open it up and it's basically a needle so be careful so I got the base and I have the whip so I'm going to put them there on on the black and then I'm going to bring the camera down to be able to show you guys okay here we are So you see at the bottom, you see the octagonal uh, base, okay, I may need uh, tweezers for this. It is, there's a hole, uh, oh, there we go, we see it now, there's a hole at the base, okay, so you can insert it into um, the antenna matching unit we just seen earlier, and I'm going to put them together, and that was that easy, I think, is it? there we go and they do fit just like the real antenna there's a wedge at, the, uh, at that spot I'm just trying to make sure they go in so you can in the diorama you could use it on the vehicle or um, as often seen on our vehicles if the antenna is not mounted it's usually thrown in the back of the radio truck as is just like that side by side so I'm going to go back of course this is super detailing you do that on a vehicle that you really care for okay because this is not cheap this is ten dollars okay but it is exactly like the real thing so if you're into exactitude perfection does it doesn't mean because you buy this that you're a rivet counter 
but the 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 effect the overall effect is a whole lot better than just a strand of a styrene although a strand of styrene is fine but if you're doing a special vehicle for a special someone like I'd say a contract job or a, what they call commission uh, going the extra length to do this they will really appreciate but once again it is very sharp and I would suggest that uh, until you're going to use it especially paint it just keep all that stuff in the little container and uh, in the bag so you don't lose it and don't forget this teardrop shape is actually uh, screwed on the at the tip of the antenna so you could very well do that now glue it with super uh, super glue and then it will still fit in the container and then you can paint it uh, like a NATO green color in the 60s these antennas were more like a dark olive color and then the newer generation uh, we're now using cark paint and the NATO green is basically a standard for all uh, equipment now okay let's move to the uh, antenna base unit uh, I say a base unit because uh, nowadays the radios take care of all the matching of the antenna uh, if you know a little bit of radio uh, theory antennas can only be so long uh, to be practical and and radio waves are some of them are very very long so you would need super long antennas and in the old days these bottom pieces here uh, used to be filled with electronics to to give the illusion to the radio that the antenna was either very long or short and while you kept the same width so it was a matching unit nowadays a lot of that is done internally with the radio so all that now is basically uh, hollow or has a very uh, maybe a lightning protector and that's about it okay so let me open this because there are like a lot of little parts in there and I'll put them on the, uh, the, car the black cardboard and then we'll take a look at them so I decided not to take out all the little pieces uh, because they're first of all I'll go in there and just let the camera focus you see there's a piece of uh, white uh, soft metal, a little black spring. You have um, a piece of brass here, which is a, um, a spigot, a spigot. It goes, uh, it's what the antenna basically screws on. And then you have your antenna matching unit, which we'll better see in the, uh, in the pictures. So you can have it straight up, normal. You can, you can have it uh, also bent a little bit forward or rear, uh, your choice. And they show you how it works. And I'll bring this up to the, the camera. So the brass tube is going to be cut and then inserted inside the uh, mounting unit. Then we're going to insert this soft piece of metal. It could be uh, soft aluminum, which I I'm pretty sure it is and then you put your spring on top and this part here is actually the top of this tube which goes inside the spring and we'll see it better here so when you get it you have to separate the head of the spigot from the tube okay it comes as one unit we saw it in the bag it's just one bag okay so once you cut it the tube goes inside the AMU or antenna mounting unit spring goes on top you put the rod in and then you put the spigot the head of the spigot into the uh, spring and all this is getting now it's locked into place then we can mount the antenna which we receive which will fit the spigot right so when with this flex shaft in here what happens is now you can actually uh, bend it and it will keep the band because it's an, uh, once you bend the aluminum it'll keep its shape and that's the nice thing about this you can really uh, bend it and have the spring take the shape you know it will start to expand just like a real uh, antenna spring would do and that's the extra uh, length these guys took in to give you a very very nice looking antenna mounting unit of course this comes at a price <laughs> this is also ten dollars okay 
it's a lot of money guys if you think and one antenna twenty dollars uh, yeah not for everybody that's for sure but for I would say the extra detail you are going to be getting uh, on a very special vehicle of yours something's very close to your heart you may want to take the extra step and and spend a little bit of money uh, I wish I really wish these guys were half the price if I were to pay ten dollars for the complete unit I would but 20 is a little too much so uh, yes I did buy them because I wanted to see how good they were and I'm blown away but it is not something I will actually do uh, very often it's just like this probably the only time I would buy them but I want to want to show it to you so some of you out there that have, have more money than I have and are more than willing to uh, go the extra way these products are out there you should check Alder's Nest on Abilink Link Japan they have a lot of uh, super detailing for modern and also World War II uh, vehicles which had very very specific uh, antenna mounting unit at that time or matching unit and uh, either ally or axis and uh, they have also extra wiring for engines and stuff like that so it's not just army stuff there's also civilian applications so uh, check them out on Abilink Japan guys Norm signing off